Are the people in your corner pillars or stumbling blocks? We'll talk more about that right after this. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Live Well with Coach Pete. And today we're talking about the people you have in your corner. We're talking about the people who are closest to you. We're talking about the people that you can call upon and they're there. The question is, are they the right type of people? Are they pillars or are they stumbling blocks? We know any good structure has strong pillars. They can't be using any type of rocks. They can't be using any types of building material. They need solid structures. The same thing with the people that you have around you. Are the people in your life pillars? That means they're gonna hold you up. They're gonna give you sound advice. They're gonna be with you through thick and thin. They've been sent by God to help you accomplish what you've been sent here to do. Or are they stumbling blocks? Have they been sent there by the enemy to stop you from fulfilling your purpose, to distract you from your purpose? So in my previous video, I would have talked about who's in your ear. My question is now, who's in your corner? Who's in your inner circle, guys? Because you may be wondering, you know, why is it that I'm still here? Why is it that I feel stuck? Why is it that nothing seems to be happening? Check your company. Check your corner. Who's that right-hand man? Who's that right-hand woman? Check your corners, guys. We're going to take a look at two potent scriptures. The first one is Proverbs chapter 13, verse 20. From the Amplified Version, it says this. He who walks as a companion with wise men will be wise. But the companions of conceited, double-witted fools are fools themselves and will experience harm. Simple. Walk with the wise, you become wise. I guarantee you, if there's something about your life you're looking to change, find wise people in that area. Find godly people who are in that area who have achieved what it is you're desiring to do because guess what it's only a matter of time that when you become a part of this group whether it's through reading their books whether it's through actual mentorship from these people when you start doing the things that they have done to get where they need to get to it's only a matter of time for you to start getting that results now if you do the reverse remember the scripture talks about that destruction is at your door check the people you are surrounding yourself with all right guys so the second scripture we're going to look at, guys, is taken from Proverbs chapter 27, verse 17. It says this, As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens and influences another through discussion. Remember my previous video talked about who's in your ear? These persons, if they're pillars, they're going to help you get to that next level. They're going to push you. Yeah, they may be harsh at times, but they're looking out for your best interest. If you have people in your ear or in your corner or space, whatever you want to call it, that are always agreeing with everything you tell them, even if it's wrong, run. Them my friends, them as enemies, because they want your demise, they don't want your upliftment. Because any true person, any true friend in your corner, whether male or female, they're going to help push you to the next level. They're going to correct you when you're wrong. They're going to tell you the things that you need to know and not what you need to hear. All right, guys, so I want you guys to examine your company. Who's in your corner? Are they pillars or are they stumbling blocks? All right, guys, so that's it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome aboard. Click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be updated when I post a new video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, if there are any topics you guys want me to talk about here where health is concerned, because remember I said health is not just what you're eating, but also what's eating you. And believe it or not, people too, especially negative persons, can inf influence your health for the negative, and positive people can influence your health for the positive as well. So guys, until next week, bye-bye.